Hello, you are about to view an augmented reality Android application that guides a user through the steps to solve a Rubik's Cube. This application you are viewing has been developed and is being demonstrated on a commercial smartphone, a Samsung Galaxy in particular, but it is intended to be run on a pair of smart glasses, and the video you are watching would be the user experience. The purpose of this application is to demonstrate the field of collaborative augmented reality. That is a field where a pair of smart glasses guides a user through some complex activity that they would otherwise not easily achieve on their own. An initial practical application is production assembly, where instead of training an operator, an operator is guided through the necessary steps and also quality is automatically confirmed along the way. Military and space mechanical repair will also be promising in-demand fields. Personnel would immediately be able to perform a wide variety of tasks in the field with no a prior significant training. And finally, and a bit more sophisticated, the field of emergency medical care by non-trained personnel is possible. Imagine being able to set a broken bone or a dislocated shoulder on a family member when traditional medical care is out of reach. During the first phase of this application, the user is instructed via large white arrows to rotate the cube so that all six faces can be examined. In the second phase, the application then guides the user to rotate one side of the cube at a time in the correct amount and direction to arrive at a solution. Typically about 20 moves are required to restore the cube to its original configuration. This application is constructed primarily in the Java language and, in addition to many Android facility, uses three significant party open source packages to achieve its objectives. They are OpenCV for the purpose of image edge detection, contour detection, and polygon generation, a well-known Rubik's Cube solution called Two-Phase for the logic, and OpenGL for rendering user directions. As can be observed, the application attempts to lock onto one face at a time. Typically not all nine tiles of a face are recognized, so a certain amount of reconstruction of the 3x3 three three tile grid occurs. From a reconstructed face, cube position, orientation, and tile colors are obtained. This information is then used to create a full 3D internal model. As you can see now, the cube is returned to its original configuration with uniform colors on each side. This is Android Steve, and thank you for watching.